But in addition, there are specific nutrients. One of the main ones that is given to children in, de- in a delicious form that they enjoy is phosphatidylserine. Now, um, phosphatidylserine, here's the, going on and continuing that report about the reports of phosphatidylserine from the Journal of Natural Medicine. Uh, is uh, Now, this is for children and adults. Dennis and I take this every single day, a naturally occurring fat found in healthy brains. It's not extracted from brains. It's from <laughs> food. <laughs> but, uh, but all but healthy brains have, have, have this, this. fat. Okay, and, but Dennis way. and I take it every single day to be able to keep doing this for you, know, for you and for functioning in life the way we want to function. But it's great for children in this so-called disorder, making them much more mentally focused. So here's the, what their take on it and the, and the reports that they talk about. Imagine you were giving a memory test of 100 questions and you got 56 right. But when you took a certain pill, your score went from a 56 to a perfect 100. Whoa. Sounds, <laughs> sounds unbelievable, right? Well, believe it or not, that's exactly what happened in the landmark Italian study. In the study, 170 patients in moderate stages of memory loss took a dosage of phosphatidylserine, or PS, a naturally occurring fat found in healthy brains. Okay. At the end of 90 days, doctors discovered the PS group improved a whopping 44%, not only in memory retention, but also in speech ability and word association ability, too. And this study is no fluke. In all, PS has been subject to over 63 clinical trials, as well as 2,800 research papers, and in one study conducted jointly at Vanderbilt and Stanford universities, scientists followed 149 patients between the ages of 50 and 75 for 12 weeks. At the end of the study, people who took PS, phosphatidylserine, felt sharper, clearer, more focused, and less forgetful. They scored significantly higher in every memory test. They were able to recall telephone numbers, find misplaced objects, and even recall in Higher paragraphs from memory. Wow. But that's not the real amazing part. The amazing part, you have got to hear this. This is going to knock your socks off. Come on, out, the I edge of my chair. Come on, come on, come on. The amazing part is that the people taking phosphatidylserine, PS, were able to reverse 12 years of mental decline. Let's hear it for PS. You see, while the average age of the participants was 64, their mental age mental ability age tested at 52. That's a full 12 years younger. PS yielded the same amazing results the researchers tested it over and over again in 17 separate placebo-controlled studies to make sure the results were real. And time after time, the researchers got the same amazing results. You want to get tanked 12 years after your brain? How's that? And yet... The and drug cartel tells you you've got to take their drug of course. for your memory, and, uh, which has been shown, <laughs> which has been shown with Alzheimer's patients to improve their memory for about three to four months. That's right. And then they regress back to what they were oh, before. Oh, but they don't tell you about all the side effects. Oh no. In, in, in cl- oh, no. And, and you know, I can't remember all of them. Uh, maybe I need more phosphatidylserine. But anyway, uh, <laughs> um, one of the side effects stood out that it was um, anorexia was a side effect of the drug. Mm-hmm. Now, when you get to be an older patient who's having men- mental issues, having dementia set in, or has been diagnosed with Alzheimer's, and then they get what? They get this... this anorexia. Anorexia. And then they can't eat. They have no appetite. They will not eat. Okay? Isn't that really dangerous? And what does that do to your health? Okay. You know it. And that's only one okay. of many side effects. Of, but anyway, this is just... This is, in a form... Uh, that's given to children along with other nutrients that improve circulation of the brain, mental focus, and clear, calm reception of information. You should see how children change and get them off the garbage. I know it's a challenge. I'm challenged too. I take care of grandkids three times a week. And I'm challenged because I know they come in with their issues. Well, they can come in with their issues. What they learn at Grandma's house is they get the fish oils. They get the vitamins. They eat the healthy organic proteins. I hope that I do, you know, make them very interestingly and deliciously. They eat the wonderful vegetables in an assortment of ways, and we make our own homemade blue cheese dressing, and I have Brooklyn sit there mixing up the blue cheese dressing with the organic uh, unsweetened Greek yogurt and the veginets and crumbling the blue cheese, and she's mixing it furiously, and she dips her broccoli and her cucumbers and her carrots Oh, boy, in that's that. beautiful. And they do that. They have all their vegetables. They eat their organic chicken and their fresh fish and their wild salmon oil, and for, and for dessert they get a huge treat some fresh fruit 
end of story. And do you know what Brooklyn has been saying lately, Dan? Uh, wait, I'm going to include wait, this, wait, people. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to include it. <laughs> Is that she says she's four now. Remember, she's four. And she says, oh, Grandma, you make such delicious food. <laughs> and I didn't prime her for that. I didn't rehearse her. I didn't <laughs> say this. She just said it spontaneously. And I'm, just, I'm glad you can't see because I just turned bright beet red. <laughs> and uh, so, but I, I just think it, you don't have to give in to the kids, and you can make them smoothies. They love the smoothies made with the almond milk and the whey protein isolate. A little, br- I put a little fruit in that. They, you blend that up. They love it, and they, they can, they can do those kinds of foods. They don't have to have their sugar. The, the and fruit juice is one of the biggest offenders. Terrible. Even the American Dental Association says don't feed your kids juice. Why? Because it rots their teeth and their gums. It's full of sugar. But people say to me, but it's natural sugar. It's good for you. No. But I say to them, it's too much natural sugar. Too much sugar of any kind is not good for you at all. And what about and was the it most concentrated form of sugar in fruit is fruit juice. That's right. You will get 8 to 10 teaspoons of sugar in a glass of juice comparable to a glass of Coca-Cola. And we read the Please statistics. Please don't rot your kids' teeth with juice. We read the statistics. I forgot which medical organization. It's not in front of me right now, but one of, just recently in one of the weeks. We've read the statistics that a glass of fruit juice increases the risk of diabetes 18%. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now we're talking one glass of fruit juice a day, 18% increased risk of diabetes. That's not the same as having some berries and some unsweetened yogurt with a little xylitol and chopped nuts. Mm-hmm. That's not the same as having some slices of apple with uh, some almond butter, etc. put right uh, on that. You know, It's not the same, okay? Very important ways to... Take back your children's health as well as your own. So come to Alive and Well, and you can hear a lot more of that, this great information. And remember, <laughs> as you know, there's something that we ought to kind of put the pieces together of this puzzle. And the pieces together of this puzzle are when you come to Alive and Well, you get this amazing information, you get the people that care about you, that are giving you free counseling, that are giving you great discounts on your, on your vitamins. If you then go and say, well, I'm going to see if I can save five cents on the Internet. Maybe it would be an inferior product, but I'm going to see if I can save five cents. How long do you think that uh, Alive and Well, with all of its services and all of its caring and all of its quality and all of its commitment and everything it has done in your life will continue to exist? So you are the the determining factor. When you know that something that's very rare, that doesn't happen much anymore these days, try to even get a human being when you want to serve us on a phone or anywhere else. A human being? Are you kidding me? Uh, You just think about how how long you're going to, that this is going to continue, because you have a part in this too. We're doing this to help you. Maybe we're nuts. Maybe we're crazy, and probably we are. Why? Because we're passionate about helping you. And uh, you, you have a part in this, all right? So support Alive and Well in the way Alive and Well supports you, and you will continue very effectively to take back your health. I have an article here, another thing, um, which supports what we just talked about before that, that last discussion. Uh, and it's by um, the Health Sciences Institute. It says, does a fruit smoothie count as one unit for those who aim to eat five servings of fruits and vegetables each day? Well, some nutritionists believe that a good-sized smoothie should actually count as two fruit servings, but representatives of the British Dental Federation don't agree that this is the best way to consume your daily fruit. One dentist told uh, the USA that fruit smoothies contain very high levels of sugar and acid and do more harm, uh, a lot of damage to the teeth. He added that just a few...